So here's a little update on the 8th. So a little camper's all sorted. I've had to move my solar panel forwards a little to make room for the little chimney that's detachable from the roof. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. So um, little camper. This is a, an air vent. It's got a mosquito um, mesh on the inside or a fly mesh. So we'll come round <clears throat> to the back now. Put my 30 mile an hour limit on here. I could probably do 40, but that's pushing it. So um, here I've got a blind so I, for the back window. And then here is the inside of the camper. So I've got the storage in here and up here. Um, and then uh, mood lighting. Um, I've got lights up on the wall here and up in under here. So excuse my dinner plate. So here's my stove. I've got three burner uh, hob here. Okay, that's the chimney um, pot cover. When I take the chimney off, I just blank the pipe off. Um, so I've cut down the back here so I can fold it in half. Um, it just gives me a lot more view out of the window and um, it makes it a lot easier folding things up. Um, and I've also installed this lovely little wood burner. I say wood burner, I'm actually burning charcoal with it. So if you open it you can see it's uh, burning away quite nicely um keeps it lovely and warm in here um i put a hot plate on the top whoop, so i can uh, cook uh, or boil a kettle and it does bring up the boiling providing i'm stoked up with uh, charcoal the um flue um i've got a copper pipe as a heat exchanger and a temperature controller over there which is currently at 45.3 um, I've got a sensor that monitors the temperature at the top of the pipe here and basically when the water gets above 50 degrees it switches on a circulation pump and that circulation pump um, pulls cold water out of the, this uh, hot water storage tank and uh, replaces it with hot um, and then this collapsible container on the top is the cold water feed so that goes to a pump and the pump splits to a Y splitter and um, one of the uh, pipes comes straight to the sink here on umbilicals and the other one goes to the hot water tank to pressurise the hot water tank and top up the hot water tank. Um, this allows me to change the amount of draw on the, um, on the stove. I can open and close the air intake if I want it to burn more viciously. So um, then I've got um, storage over the top here. I'll keep my bed in and everything. Um, in here I have a, a fridge, which is, is 20 litres. It's plenty big enough for in here. Um, actually, it's amazing how cool this wood stays with the heat shield on it. But um, I don't know if you can just hear that the um, pumps kicked in. And so the hot water that's in this pipe now is going into the hot water tank. This burner is only maybe six inches high and uh, four inches across. The flue is 38 mil. Um, obviously with any combustion uh, system, uh, I've got an alarm over here, monitors my carbon monoxide. Um, I've got a vent here, which is straight to outside uh, through that vent you saw just now, which can't be closed. So there's always fresh air coming in. I also have a roof uh, vent too, which I can open if I want. Um, I do monitor, um, while I've been using the fire, I've been monitoring the carbon dioxide levels in here as well as the carbon monoxide levels and it works very well. I'm just going to step backwards a little bit. Um, I'm just coming outside of the camper. Oh, bear with me. Right, okay. So, here's the bed. Um, now, one of the problems you have, obviously, with... Um, it's, it's quite awkward to get the bed out because I can't get in there. So I have a switch and this switch basically, um, I don't know if you can see, but the bed's now driving out on an actuator motor. And back in this corner here, you just see a little switch sticking out from the cupboard there. That's a stop switch. So when the bed is, is fully out, um, when the bed is fully out it will stop against that stop switch and um, 
then I can just drop the back down. Um, I won't I won't go all the way out now, I'll just put put it back in. Um, then up here I've got um, USB power, I've got a um, 12 volt socket, obviously USBs here, got more USBs up there, and up above the fridge in behind the corner there's more USBs there, So and a 12 volt socket, so I've got plenty of power, this is just driving back to the wall now, and it has a micro switch so when it's gone right back. Um, that does that. I've also down here I've got some bolts. Those bolts um, enable me to come out the back here and if I pull this then the back also drives up. It's all on actuator motors all running on 12 volts. So uh, anyway there's a quick tour around my camper. Hope you enjoyed it.